Hello, friends. This is Ms. De Los Santos. I hope you're doing well today. Well, this week, friends, we are going to be talking about the feeling worried. How does this feeling look like? What should we do if we're feeling worried? Okay, so let's start our lesson. So, friends, what should you do if you feel worried? What does it mean to feel worried? When you feel worried, you think about problems or things that you don't like. You get scared or upset, and you think that something bad is going to happen. So there's three things that happen when you're feeling worried. You think about things that you don't like. You can feel scared. Remember our feeling buddy scared? His eyes look like this, and his mouth looks, oh, that's how we look like when we're feeling scared. And you think something bad is going to happen. And this is exactly how you might look when you feel worried. Look at all those faces, friends. See, some of us might cry. And this friend right here, look at her eyes. They're wide open, okay? Feeling worried, friends, can make your stomach feel bad. That's how you can feel when you're feeling worried. But you know what? Everyone has worries. Your mom has worries, your dad has worries, your teacher has worries, everyone has worries. But there are ways to handle yourself when you are feeling worried. It's okay to feel worried, friends. Everyone feels worried. But you can always talk to an adult. An adult is a grown-up, a person that takes care of you. You can talk to that person and tell them what's worrying you. You can also use your words and say, I am feeling worried. I have worries. I'm scared. Those are things that you can tell an adult, a grown up. You can go and tell them that you're scared. Okay. Now, what can you do if you are feeling worried? You can take a break. And you can do things that you like. You can go outside and play. You can draw. You can dance. You can even play a sport. A lot of us like to play sports. So you can do that if you're feeling worried. One of the things that I like to do is think happy thoughts. In your brain, I want for you to close your eyes and think about things that make you feel happy. Okay, maybe it's your favorite character. Maybe it's your favorite friend. Maybe it's your favorite TV show, your favorite food. What are the things that you like to do? And close your eyes and think about all the things that you like to do. And that is going to help you with worry, with that feeling worry. And remember this. Worry is going to go away. It's not gonna stay in your body forever. And then you're gonna get to feel happy again. That's the best part. Worry, it doesn't stay in your body. It's gonna go away. You just have to remember that you need to reset. That means you need to start again, okay? Reset your body and you can breathe. You can think happy thoughts. You can do something that you like. Those are things that you can do. But remember one thing. I know you're feeling scared. I know you're thinking about bad things are happening, but you're going to be safe. You're going to be safe. Now, if you're worried, I told you that you can breathe, you can calm down, you can ask an adult for help. But on this picture, boys and girls, there's a lot of things that you can do. Okay, I'm going to try to move myself over to this side. In here, it says that you can do a puzzle, you can create art, you can color, you can exercise, you can drink tea, you can get a hug, you can drink some water, you can smile, play with your pet, read a book, take a bath, drink something that you like, maybe tea, maybe a hot chocolate, something that makes you feel good. Um, you can sleep. You can learn something new. And sometimes it might even be good to cry. It's okay. 
Now, the next slides, I'm going to show you and your family three things that you can do at home to help you with this feeling, okay? So parents, if your child is worrying, you can always talk to them. It's always, always good to talk to your child and find out what is making them feel worried. What is making them feel scared? What are they scared about? Okay, so you have to ask them and ask them, what, what's making you feel scared? What's making you feel worried? And write all those things down. Make a list of all the things that are making your child feel worried, okay? So that's the first thing. The first thing is we wanna to try to figure out what's happening, what's making them feel worried. The next thing is we are going to decide what worries you have control of and what worries you have no control of and you are going to sort them out. So let's say that your child said, I'm worried about the rain. I'm worried about mm, my friends. I'm worried about the weather. So you make a list and you, you categorize it. You put all the things that you have control of and things that you have no control of, okay? So once you have a list, I want for you to think of ways to cope with that worry. For instance, if your child is worried about getting sick, you can have some control over getting sick. You can wash your hands more often. You can cast your coughs like this. <laughs> You cast your coughs, you can eat healthy, you can drink lots and lots of water. Those are things that you can do with your body to help not getting sick. Now, can you guarantee that you're not gonna get sick? No, we can't guarantee you that. We can say you are never, never gonna get sick, but you're helping your body, okay? Now, that's one thing that we can control. I can control you not ever getting sick, but I can control things in my body to maybe avoid getting sick, to make myself be more healthy, and that's maybe gonna decrease the get the possibilities of me getting sick. Okay, so knowing that there's a way to stop that from happening helps our feelings, and it helps us feel less worried, less anxious. Have less fear of, of getting that. And that's if that's what the child is worried about. Um, let's say that your child is worried about the weather. They're scared when there's thunderstorms. They don't like that feeling. Well, you can't change the weather. There's nothing we can do about the weather. We can make it sunny it's because that's out of our, our control. Now, you can find ways to deal with this you can wear rainbows. Um, you can have the light on. You can play some music while it's raining. You can watch your favorite show. So what we're trying to do here, it's trying to alleviate some of that anxiety with things that they like to do. And that's exactly what we do. We find ways to help our kids feel better by talking about what's making them feel scared and finding ways to cope with that feeling or with that thing or that object or that um, weather that's making them feel scared and worried, okay? Now, this is the last activity that you can do. So first you make a list, you talk to your child, you make a list and you categorize them, okay? things that you can control about the things that are making your child feel anxious and things that you can control. But we're trying to find ways to help our child see that there's ways to cope with, with those feelings and those things that are making them feel scared and worried. Now, the last activity here is, let's say you see in your child that he's being scared. He's worried about something and you just don't know what he's worried about and you already asked your child what's worrying him and he can't really say what's worrying him, but there's a feeling of anxiousness. You see it, you just don't know what it is. So what you can do, you can have your child look through magazines or any pictures that you might have and for him to either pinpoint 
the things that are making him feel scared. And if you want to make it a little bit more fun, you can have him look through magazines and cut the pictures that make him feel scared. Okay. So that way you can understand what's making him feel scared. And then you can have that talk where you can talk about what's making him him or her feel scared and you can give them ideas as to how to cope with those things that are making him feel scared or worried. Now there's three activities that you can do. This is in no way an obligation for you to do. These are just ideas to help you at home with feeling worried. If you think your child is feeling worried or if you see that your kid is anxious about something and you want to help them and you don't know how, this lesson um, can help you with to address that feeling. Now, as always, if you have any questions, I am here to help with your concerns. And you can just email me and I will be happy to help you if you if you find that this topic is hard or you don't know how to talk to your child about being worried and scared. I just wanted to present this lesson so that you can understand that feeling and so that you can have ways to cope and deal with that feeling with these activities that I just shared with you. Now I did do this activity. Now, friends like this this is my chart of things that make me feel happy and things that make me feel scared okay so the things that i like to do things that make me feel happy is listening to music i love to listen to music i love to read books if i'm reading i'm happy and the one thing that i really really love to do is on my phone i have all these pictures pictures of my family, pictures of my kids, pictures of parties we've gone to, birthday parties, and maybe gather family gatherings. And when I looked at those pictures, it helps me not think about what's making me feel scared. So that's one thing that I do. So now I want for you to think, what are some things that make you happy? And now you have them ready. So when you're feeling worried and scared, you can think about those things that make you feel happy. Now, some of the things that I don't like, these are things that make me feel very, very scared or very, very worried. When I'm in the dark, I don't like that. That makes me feel very, very worried, okay? But like I said, I learned how to cope with it. I can turn on the light and that will make me feel as worried or as scared. The other thing that I don't like at all, and a lot of my teacher friends, they know that I don't like this. I don't like mice. They can be really, really cute, but they make me feel very, very scared and worried. I don't like them. Now for that, I just stay away from them. I don't like to have mice. Now if I do, I can always ask somebody for help, but I, I don't like those. To be around me i don't like to when i go to the pet shop i don't visit that area because i'm very scared of mice and i'm also scared and feel worried when i go to the doctor but i always tell myself i'm gonna go to the doctor and they're gonna make me feel better they're not gonna hurt me so i have self-talk i talk to myself and say things like that's not gonna they're not gonna hurt me they're not gonna do anything bad to me so that's the way i cope with things that make me feel worried and scared. So now it's your turn to figure out what's making you feel worried, what's making you feel scared, and then have that talk with your parents and that way they can help you find ways to cope with those feelings and those things that are making you feel scared or worried. And that is our lesson, boys and girls, for this week. We're talking about feeling worried, now remember that I'm here to help you. If you need for me to talk with you about this feeling, I will be more than happy to talk with you. I already shared my email. I can share it again. It's right here. And you can always reach out to me, friends. We miss you all. And we know that you're not always going to be happy. There are times that we're going to feel scared and worried and angry. And those are strong feelings. And it's okay. We just need to learn how to handle those feelings, okay? All right, friends. Well, that's all for me this week. I hope you have a good rest of your week. Bye, friends.